A radical change of atmosphere after weeks of peaceful protests. Fighting erupted on the streets of Khartoum on Monday. On these pictures, security forces are seen beating and whipping protesters in a seemingly unprovoked attack. Local doctors say several people have been wounded by gunfire, some of them seriously. Shots were heard in central Khartoum after security and paramilitary forces clashed with protesters who had set up roadblocks. The old regime has not fallen yet. Therefore, we're staying. You've seen with your own eyes the oppression that's going on. We want to make our voices heard clearly so that people know that we reject what's going on. And now they're using whips on us. Later on Monday, the Transitional Military Council said an army major had been killed in the Sudanese capital. In a statement, the council accused groups unhappy with progress toward a political deal of opening fire at multiple protest sites. Three soldiers were also wounded, according to the statement. The escalation of violence comes after protest leaders said they had reached an agreement with military rulers over the structure of a new sovereign council that will lead Sudan. The protesters have said that is not enough, claiming a similar announcement was made last week. Also on Monday, the country's prosecutor general said it had charged former leader Omar al-Bashir with involvement in killing protesters and incitement to kill protesters during the uprising that ultimately drove him from power. Civilian representatives say around 100 demonstrators were killed during several months of rallies. It is not yet clear what punishment al-Bashir may face. The former leader is currently in prison in Khartoum.